Hola y buenos días. Bienvenidos a otra lección. We're starting a new unit today. Uh, we are now in lessons uh, 1.2, point whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, in 1.1, we talked a lot about what you do during the school day. We talked about classes, studying, reports, uh, giving speeches, things like that. Uh, during this unit, we're going to be talking about things after school. ¿Qué haces después de las clases? ¿Qué haces después de la escuela? En otras palabras, ¿qué haces uh, para divertirte? To enjoy yourself, to have fun. ¿Cuáles son las actividades extracurriculares in which you participate? By the way, I like that word. Actividades extracurriculares. Uh, that's one of our vocab words this chapter. Okay, so some of the things we're going to be doing this chapter include... Um, uh, comparing things. In Spanish one we did bigger than, shorter than, so we're going to go a step further with that. We're also going to um, work with the verb conocer, distinguish between conocer, to know a person or place, be familiar with, and saber, to know facts. Um, we're going to also talk about how long you've been doing stuff. For example, do you play, is soccer one of your extracurricular activities? How long have you been playing soccer? I have been playing soccer for four years for example. So we'll talk about how long you've been doing things. Now in order to do all this stuff during the next uh, next couple weeks, we're going to first have to learn some vocabulary. So let's uh, let's look at some vocabulary, some activities that people do after school. Some actividades extracurriculares. And we'll make that our first word of the day. Las actividades extracurriculares. Hay muchas actividades extracurriculares. ¿Te gusta nadar? ¿Te gusta jugar al golf? ¿Cuáles son las actividades extracurriculares que you participate in? ¿Qué, ¿En qué participas? ¿Participas en el equipo de, no sé, en el equipo de fútbol? ¿En un club de libros? Talk about that. Next one, ajedrez. Actually, let's go back. Let's do some repeat. Actividades extracurriculares. Repeat. Actividades extracurriculares. Now, for some people, it makes it easy if you can break this up. Extra curriculares. Now try saying it. Las actividades extracurriculares. Okay. Next one. Repite. El ajedrez. El ajedrez. Here's ajedrez. Ajedrez. Que repite el club. Repite los clubes. Ah, tenemos este club en la escuela. Tenemos también el club de ajedrez. Muchos clubes. Remember, when a word ends in a consonant and we want to make it plural, we add es to the end. So, el club, los clubes. Next one, repite el club atlético. El club atlético. Now, a lot of uh, English speakers want to say atlético. No, there's no TH sound in there. So, we got a couple things that this could be. It could be like a sports club, like a gym. Um, and we've also got like sports clubs, like soccer teams and football teams. El club atlético. Next, el equipo. El equipo. It looks like equip or equipment, but it's actually un equipo, a team. El equipo. Repite, el equipo. English speakers also sometimes read this word and want to say equipo. No, it's equipo. Equipo. Okay. El fotógrafo. Repite, el fotógrafo. La fotógrafa. Okay. That's a photographer. Male and female photographer. El fotógrafo. A la derecha tenemos un fotógrafo. A la izquierda tenemos una fotógrafa. El fotógrafo, la fotógrafa. La reunión. La reunión. Now some people think that it's only like a family reunion. No, it's a meeting. It's where people get reunited, they get together. La reunión. Repite, la reunión. Okay, next one. Animador. La animadora. Some people want to say, oh, it's an animator, like a cartoon. No, no. Animator, like somebody that cheer, uh, pumps you up, gets you animated, gets you, gets you moving. Animadora 
una animadora. El animador, la animadora. Repite, el animador, la animadora. Now, in some regions, they have other names like porrista and things like that. We're going to be using animador, animadora. Okay. And if you want to, if you have trouble remember that one, well, you can remember that one of the most popular cheerleaders at our school is Annie Madora. Annie Madora is a cheerleader. Okay. Just a, not really, just using a trick to help you remember it. Animadora. Animadora, animator. Okay, next one. Las artes marciales. Repite, artes marciales. English speakers, be careful not to say marciales. Don't try to grab that English pronunciation. Marciales. Or in Spain, marciales. Artes marciales. Practicas las artes marciales. Practicas en el dojo de Rex Quando las artes marciales. Hacer gimnasia. Now you recognize hacer to make or to do. Gimnasia, to do. Ah, hacer gimnasia. Esta es otra actividad extracurricular. Hacer gimnasia. Repite, hacer gimnasia. Can't miss this one. If you miss this one, then I think if you miss this one on a test, it's with five points off. Jugar a los bolos. Repite, jugar a los bolos. Jugar a los bolos. Los bolos. Jugar a los bolos. Muy bien. Um, in English, I know it's a verb, like to bowl, but we don't have a verb. We don't use that. Uh, in English, we don't use verbs like to football, to soccer, to go. Well, we do say to golf, but um, it follows that other pattern of uh, using jugar, jugar a los bolos. Next one, repite la natación. La natación. La natación. La banda. This one should be pretty easy. La banda. Okay. El bailarín. We see the verb in there, bailar. So you would guess a bailarín would be a. And a bailarina would be a. La bailarina. El bailarín. Repite. El bailarín. La bailarina. Okay, as long as we're like that, what verb does this look like? El es cantante. El cantante, la cantante. Repite, repite, el cantante. La cantante. El cantante. Next one, coro. El coro, repite, el coro. El coro. Hay cinco personas en el coro. El músico. Uh, it looks like we know that música is music, but when we have el or la, we're saying the musico. Ah, él es músico. Él es un músico de Perú, o quizás Bolivia. El músico. Ecuador, no sé. El músico, musician. El músico. Repite la música. Repite el músico. Okay, this one is also a cognate. Looks Looks like, sounds like the English word, it means the same thing. Repite la orquesta. La orquesta. Una orquesta. Okay, next one, ganar. Ganar, it looks like to gain. It's like to gain, or also used, we're talking about to win. Ganar, repite, ganar. That could mean earn, win, gain, ganar. Last one, I think a lot of you know already. Tomar lecciones. Tomar lecciones. El chico a la izquierda toma lecciones de violín. Y a la derecha toma lecciones de piano. Tomar lecciones. Repite. Tomar lecciones. Okay, now I'm going to run down this list real quick. I'll show you the word in English, and you try to guess what the Spanish is. 
And then after that, we'll go in reverse. I'll show you the picture and see if you can name the Spanish. Okay, so here we go. Actividades extracurriculares would be... Hope that's what you were thinking of. What is ajedrez? What's the image that goes with that? Okay, Jess. El club, los clubes. Don't need much time for that one. El club atlético. Yeah, that's a pretty quick one. Cognate. El equipo. Ah, what was equipo? It's a team. Autógrafo, another cognate. La reunión. El animador o la animadora. Artes marciales. Hacer gimnasia. Okay. Jugar a los bolos. La natación. La banda. El bailarín, la bailarina. El cantante. El coro. El músico, la música. La orquesta. Oh, remember there's no R after that T. Some people try to put an R because we have it in English. Ganar. Tomar lecciones. Okay, let's scroll back up through those. Uh, look at the picture, see if you can name what it is. Uno, dos, tres. Tomar lecciones. Uno, dos, tres. Ganar. Uno, dos, tres. La orquesta. El músico. El coro. El cantante. La bailarina. La banda. La natación. Jugar a los bolos. El hockey. Hacer gimnasia. Las artes marciales. La animadora. La reunión. El fotógrafo. La fotógrafa. El equipo. El club atlético. El club, los clubes. El ajedrez. All those activities. Actividades extracurriculares. Okay, and that's our, the end of our introduction to our new unit, talking about extracurricular activities. We'll do more vocab in the next lesson. But here's some vocab to get you started. Um, what I want you to do, those that are my students, I want you to write down three sentences using three different vocab words, and then we'll talk about your sentences in your groups and in class uh, tomorrow. Okay, buena suerte. Adios.